Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are building something a bit nostalgic. Thought I would go 90s with this build. If you grew up in the 90s, you probably had a Nintendo 64. And if you were rocking a Nintendo 64, you probably played this game to death. One of my favorite games for Nintendo 64's console was the GoldenEye 007 game. Uh, the, the name's Bond. Yeah, the James, James Bond game. Um, it was by far one of my favorite games for Nintendo 64. I pretty much learned enemy spawns and could go through their headshot and I'm like it was nobody's business. But I thought what more iconic thing could I build from that game, Golden Eye, than the Golden Gun. You know, one shot kills. Pew, pew, pew. Today we are going to build the Golden Gun from Golden Eye 007. Let's get to building. I didn't make a template for this one, just kind of eyeballed everything. The smarter way to do this would be to print out a screen reference to scale to your hand. I just guessed on everything. I used various EVA sizes and different textures. One inch EVA dowel for the end of the barrel, hex tubing for the barrel, and some eighth inch styrene. Just cut the tubing down to size, glue on an EVA foam tip, and carve in a bevel line onto the PEX tubing. I'm using a phone app called Sketchfab, which has 3D models in it that I can use as a reference for the gun. It gives all the angles that you need to see as well as zoom in and out, so it's a lot better than just a picture reference. I carved out the pin clip from this eighth inch styrene. It would probably be a lot easier just to find an old pin top to use, but I didn't have one laying around, so I made my own. Thanks to my little brother for the floor mat foam. The texture on the bottom is perfect for the ridged detail on the body of the gun. Just have to make a small rectangle. If you cut inward 45 degree angles, you can hide some of the seams a little and make it look a lot cleaner.
cap off the end, I use some one millimeter craft foam. It looks a little funny multicolored, but it's going to be covered with Plasti Dip and spray paint shortly. This is a lighter in the movie where the bullet goes in, so I need to make a hinged lid. And yes, I realize mine is too big, just rolling with it. I will just adjust the rest of the parts to fit this particular part. Now time to make the fancy cigarette holder slash handle. I just glued up two pieces of scrap 10 millimeter EVA using some barge contact cement. Once glued up, I simply rounded over all the edges and added some green textured craft foam I found at the dollar store to add detail on the handle. In some reference images that I saw, there was that S insignia. This custom gun was the signature weapon of the assassin Francisco Scaramanga. Used my wood burner with a thin tip to burn in the detail. This part slides out of the lighter in the movie and is where the barrel of the gun actually attaches to. I just use 10mm EVA for the body of it, 6mm for the bottom, and then 2mm for the detail ridges.
Now time to assemble, just using some Gorilla Super Glue to attach everything. With small connections it just makes it easier and moves assembly along at a much faster pace. I carved the cuffling trigger out of that same eighth inch styrene that I used for the pin clip. Styrene is an easy material to work with. You score lines on the top of the surface and then simply snap it off. This may be the easiest paint job ever. I plasti dipped the foam, spray painted the plastic parts, then covered everything with gold spray paint. There is a little red button underneath the trigger also. And we are, uh, sorry, we are finished. Am I supposed to point a weapon at you? But it's, it's foam and PVC, so it should be okay. But here is the end result. Um, paint job is really simple on the golden gun. It's it's just gold with like a red button there. That's pretty much it. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I did kind of oversize it just a bit. This part was a little too big when I started out, and to over uh, to complicate things, instead of just starting over, I resized everything to try and fit it off of this, and it just ended up being really big. But luckily, I have a big hand, so the weapon still kind of fits and is proportionate to me at least. Um, there is no template for this. I just pieced it together. It's just a couple of rectangles. It's not really that complicated of a build. And the only parts that would be are the parts that you would have to carve, which I can't template anyways. Uh, but overall, pretty simple. Um, you could make it even more simple by using an actual pin. Uh, and if you could find the right uh, cigarette case, maybe you could piece it together that way and make a legit real one. But I think this one looks pretty cool. Maybe you will try and make this gun yourselves and impress your friends with your one-shot kills no matter where you hit the body. The floor? Maybe you'll get some... Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. Let's see if I can shoot the camera. Not not you. I'm shooting right next to you. <laughs>